Hey what's going on people, Bearfox here and welcome back to another amazing video. So 3 months ago I made a video on Call of Duty Warzone and now Call of Duty is back again with yet another new season. So in this video today I'm gonna be showing you guys all the best settings, secret settings to get better FPS and I promise you guys after watching this video completely you guys will get almost 30 to 40 percent FPS boost from your regular performance so make sure to stick around till the end. I hope this video helps you out a lot and if it does make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel since it really helps me out growing it and with all that said let's roll the intro. It is always preferred to take prevention than finding a cure. So to do so, simply press your windows key and then search for create a restore point. So you'll be coming to system properties under here you'll be going to system protection and then choose your local disk C and then make sure that protection is on. If it's not then click on configure and then make sure the turn on system protection is enabled over here. Then simply click on create and name it warzone. So this will make an image file of your computer. So whenever anything goes wrong if in any case if you have a very low end PC and if your PC like it cracks up to the max potential but it can't run itself then you guys can always come and click on system restore use the last restore point and then restore back to the image where nothing has happened so i hope that you get the idea of how it works and once it is done you guys can see system protection the restore point was created successfully all you need to do is just close it and then turn this thing off Right, next up is updating your windows as well as GPU drivers. Now, as you guys know, Warzone is a highly GPU intensive game. That means that you need to get a better GPU. So if you guys are playing on GD series of graphics card, then forget playing Warzone because it's very, very low end. But if you own GDX series from above 1050 Ti, then yep, this guide will work better for you guys. So first things first, all you need to do is search for Windows Update and then uh, the regular thing go to your settings over here and then make sure that install and update all of these things in your windows because these are gonna update it to the best and most optimal settings keep updating your windows until the next two months consecutively because it's gonna help you guys a lot so once you are done with the windows update i highly recommend you guys to go use driver booster 9 as i am using over here or else just go and open geforce experience or if you are having an AMD card you guys can use the AMD utility but once you are over here you just go to drivers section at the top right section of your screen or the top left section of your screen and then make sure that you are using the latest GeForce game ready drivers once you have done the updating third setting is the most optimal and best settings that will give you max FPS boost which is over here just go and search for graphic settings uh, change default graphic settings over here and then make sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on then go back to graphics over here and you'll find in all of the applications and games in your PC so I recently resetted my PC so I've lost all my apps but don't worry just open up and find Call of Duty Warzone over here click on options and then select high performance so once you're done with that this will allow your GPU to be consumed while playing the game so that your PC doesn't save power while playing and this will allow your game to utilize more of your hardware and get you better performance so just click on save and then close the graphic settings over here Nextly, I want to introduce you guys to Exit Lag. Exit Lag has been a long time partner and I have been promoting them because this really helps you guys a lot. So you guys can go to the link in the description below and download the free 3 days trial. After that you need to get a subscription. But let me tell you guys what Exit Lag does for you. Once you open up Exit Lag, it has a list of over 250 games to choose from and it is officially pro's choice to get better FPS and reduce ping issues in your game and not only for warzone but you guys can use it if you play valorant fortnite and any of the games in this long long list so you guys can get exit lag and let me just tell you guys how it simply works so you need to search for call of duty warzone and add it as i have done and then select the nearest game region to you guys for me it's in asia dubai so i'm going to be choosing the ae dubai from all this list over here and then to pick all of these three options and then simply click on optimize and this will give you the estimated ping that you're going to be getting 
Without exit lag, I was getting roughly around 70 to 80 ping, but after using exit lag, I was getting almost 25 to 35 ping, which is almost, almost great. So just click on apply routes and then go to the tools section. And this is where the amazing part comes in. So over here, you have to enable all five of these options as well as the smart optimization over here as well as the real-time optimization. Then go back to FPS boost and then over here, enable the first, third and last two options over here. But you have to restart your PC. So just if you guys want to use it, if it gives you better performance then use it or you guys can skip the step. So that's how exit lag will work for you and the exit lag subscriptions are cheap as well. So you guys can get the monthly, semi-annual or quarterly subscription for the price given on the screen. And they accept wide payment methods so you guys can just pay from almost anything. But if you guys are considering buying exit lag for yourself, then don't forget to use code BEARFOX20 as it will give you flat 20% discount right away at your first purchase. And this is only valid for first purchase. So choose the plan carefully because this is just a one-time opportunity um, and this will save you a lot of money as well. Alright, so next thing is downloading the Call of Duty Modern Warfare or the uh, Call of Duty Warzone FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below and you guys can get it from there hassle free. Simply extract it and open up the folder over here and you'll find in some files. Now I have made it really simple for you guys as you guys wanted me to keep it short, sweet and simple. So the first one is the registry optimizations and if you guys are watching my videos you guys know what this is. So the first file will allow your CPU to be prioritized, second one and third one disable the DVRs for gaming. Uh, third, uh, fourth one is disable GPU energy driver and this will allow you to save your GPU's energy consumption. So if your GPU is by default set to save power, this will disable it allowing it to work much faster giving you better performance. Next is disable power throttling and this is nothing but your power which is coming to your PC. Your PC consumes your power according to the work you are doing but this will disable the power throttling allowing it to consume a straight and direct input which will allow your PC to perform on its best potential. And last but not the least is increase system responsiveness as this is and this is nothing it just changes some registries you guys can just right click and then show more options and then click on edit to see what it does. All right, so this helps in increasing system responsiveness and all of these does some pretty good jobs. All right, so all you have to do is simply double click or run them as administrator and you're done with them. And make sure that you apply all of these to your PC. Next is latency fix and for that we have timer resolution on our device. As you guys can see right now, once you open up timer resolution, simply click on uh, maximum and then minimize this. And last but not the least is commands for Warzone and this is also most important. So for that, you need to open up your uh, battle.net and then you have to go to this Warzone screen over here and then go to options and then go to game settings and then go to app and make sure that while running or on the game launch, exit battle.net completely and while clicking X or close window, it closes battle.net completely because this while running in the background consumes a lot of RAM. So just make sure that you turn this thing off and then close it as and then go back to options once again also in the game settings over here just go over here and then select call of duty warzone and then click on additional command line arguments and then and over here you have to copy this whole line make sure that you copy it with the hyphen over here and then make sure to paste it in over here and once you are done with that click on done and after that you need to open up your command prompt as administrator and then within this file you have a power plan you have to copy the whole code from here and then paste it in the command prompt and run it i have already done it so once you're done with that you need to open up your control panel in here search for power and over here go to power options and then make sure to select ultimate performance and then close this application and that's how you're done with the fps pack last but not the least are the in-game settings and for that just open up your game all right so here's a tip once you are logging into your game or loading into your game you guys will see installing shaders to optimize performance during gameplay make sure to not play the game until this process is done this is really important otherwise your game will lag for sure 
All right, once you are past your loading screen and on a screen like this, where you guys can see all of your games, simply go to options over here and then go to graphics over here. And in the display, make sure to always play this game on full screen because it will utilize less memory. Because if you're playing on windowed full screen or, uh, you know, uh, full screen borderless or extended window, and what will happen is that your apps will be running in the background. All right, so this is Windows game mode's basic nature that if you play a game on full screen then it will reduce the apps running in the background it will start killing the app allowing you to save memory so that function won't work if you are playing on windowed full screen mode so always make sure to go on full screen and for the screen refresh rate should be set to the default refresh rate of your screen and then for the render resolution you guys can go anywhere between 90 to 100 i like it 100 over here so i'll just keep it 100 and then for advanced resolution make sure that you're playing on the base resolution of your monitor then uh, dynamic resolution should be disabled and then dynamic resolution frame target just keep it all the way down even if it's disabled then aspect ratio should be set to automatic because it will automatically fetch your uh, game's refresh rate and your uh, monitor's aspect ratio so yeah also make sure that this this is very important V-Sync should be disabled and custom frame rate limit should be unlimited and brightness should be set to 60 and um, display gamma 2.2 RGB uh, sRGB as well as uh, both of these disabled. Well, I have a pretty good GPU so I'll just keep it enabled so I can save my quality clips and then click on apply all of these settings and then go to quality and in field of view I like to keep it 120 it's just a personal preference and uh, streaming quality if you have a very low end pc as it says if you have a value less than 4 gb graphic cards so if you're using gdx 1050 or the 2 gb graphics cards such as gd 1030 then just keep it low otherwise keep it normal uh, and then for the texture resolution i highly recommend you guys to go for low or very low according to your performance as you guys can see on the right bottom of our screen that's our vram usage and as you guys can see this game is currently using 2.3 gigabytes of my memory out of my 8 gb gpu so just make sure that you have to keep it as low as possible so just um go with these settings as you guys can see on the screen as i have set for myself just follow all of these settings and then um, this filming strength uh, i have kept it to one and for the film grain i have kept it to zero for dlss i prefer to keep it disabled and for ng aliasing i have gone with smaa 1x so just copy the same and then disable all of these three options but there are some important settings coming up ahead for the shadow map resolution keep it normal and both of these things enabled because if if you keep your cache of your game shadows so it will take it will take less time while rendering shadows again and again in each match so this will save you a lot of processing power allowing it to run much faster then all of these should be set to low and disabled and once you're done with that simply apply the settings and go back open up warzone and then drop into the game and those are the best and most optimal settings for call of duty warzone so guys i hope this video could have helped you out and if it did make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel as you guys know we are reaching really close to 50k subscribers each and every day so just consider hitting that red subscribe button down below be a part of the fox fam and we'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out